it's never been easier to download music, movies and software. At the click of a button we can download any copyrighted material we can think of. Thank you. just landed in beautiful Wellington, taking in the sights before I begin a whole week of retreat. It is so hard to know whether you're downloading legally or illegally, with so many websites throwing their content at us, like YouTube and all these torrent download websites, Pirate Bay and so on. So I guess the question is, is it wrong or is it a sin to download, share or pirate copyrighted material that is not ours. I suppose this comes down to whether or not in fact it is theft. As a recording artist and a YouTuber I would say it is, but then again I'm a bit biased. But let's try and understand why I think it is so. As talented and gifted a person may be, a lot of time, energy and finances goes into creating software, music and film and so on. Even though God has given them the gift, at the same time they still become the creators, they still become the copyright owners of what they produce. So at the end of the day, it is the creator, the owner, that has the right to choose and to administer where the information and where this gift is shared. It's the same with anyone who has any other gift, an artist or someone who is good at business or at accountancy or being a doctor. They have this gift which is a God-given gift, but it is their choice and their responsibility to administer this talent to make sure that they can look after themselves that they can look after and nurture this gift and make sure that they can continue giving and serving in a way God has empowered them to do so when you download or use their material without their permission it really is stealing it's like going to a doctor using their services and walking away without paying now, most musicians, including myself, are not in it for the money. But at the same time, we need to continue to sustain this gift. If people keep downloading music, if people keep stealing software, there's no way this gift can be sustained and continued to be used for the glory of God and for the building of the church. Sometimes you strike gold. Look at this Wellington view from my bedroom. The second thing to consider is the law of the land. Now most governments would hold that the property belongs to the copyright owners and thus creates laws to make downloading without the permission of these owners illegal. The Bible tells us that as Christians we are to obey the law of the land. Take Romans 13, 1 to 7. Maybe your government or law doesn't consider pirating or downloading music or movies or software as illegal. But even if you don't do it for those reasons, consider your brother and sister who put so much work into producing these materials, sometimes at their own costs, which because of illegal downloads will never be recouped. Here are some excuses which are really not excuses. These big greedy corporate companies have lots of money just stealing some songs, downloading some songs off the internet is not going to affect them. But I'm only going to use this music to worship God. I'm only going to use it in schools where I can help people. I'm going to use it for personal use and I'm not going to make a profit out of it. If I had to pay for it, there's no way I could afford it. 
All these reasons don't justify taking or sharing copyrighted materials. Digital pirates are doing wrong when they take protected material and make it freely available for others to download and share. And when we download and share this material, which is not ours to do so or theirs to offer in the first place, then we are sharing in their sin. So in conclusion, here in Windy Wellington, there are three things that are expected of us as Christians. The first is that we respect the law of the land. The second thing is that we respect God's law. And the third thing is that we love and respect our brothers and our sisters. And when we choose to use these resources with permission and not take things that are not ours, then we're showing love and respect for those who give so much and put in so much effort to make these resources available for us. Thank you.